Right now, right at this very moment, this very second, a young Australian soldier is fighting for our country. They're fighting because of our Anzacs and their inspirational Anzac spirit that inspires our youth. They're fighting for Australia, for my right to sit in this chair, for my right to say what I want to say, for your right to listen to me. Our Anzacs, ordinary young men and women, driven by love and passion for our country, have faced and are facing unimaginable horrors and trials completely unknown by loved ones at home. And yet they serve in these campaigns because of their mates and their love for us. Driven by determination, passion, loyalty, mateship and courage, our soldiers fight for our freedom. That's the reason why we're all here. That's why we've got the stuff that we've got now is because they fought for it. The legend of the Anzacs and the Anzac spirit is still important now to our soldiers and our youth. As soldiers today leave for the war in Afghanistan and United Nations duties, the characteristics of the Anzacs are still being portrayed by a generation. Seeing our own fathers and mothers leave Australia to serve our country reminds us of the Anzacs who left for the unknown battles of World War I and World War II, then completely unaware of what conditions they would have to face when they left everything familiar back home to fight for not only their country, but our allies. Back then they just, they didn't know what they were, what they were doing, where they were going, who they were going. They just went to help their country and other countries. Today's youth are inspired by these men and women because of their bravery, sacrifice, mateship and pride they have shown while fighting overseas. Experiencing places they've never seen, strangers they haven't met, situations they've only seen on the news, heard of or talked about with mates, been told by family members who served. We are reminded of past soldiers who left for Europe or Pacific Asia. Our own young soldiers, family members, friends and neighbours are leaving home now to go with their mates into circumstances they would never have experienced unless confronted directly by them. They have sacrificed everything and left everyone back home. The lifelong soulmate who doesn't know when they'll hold each other again. The anxious mother who cries by the telephone every night the young child who may or may not see their father or mother ever again. There was, and strongly is to this day, an incredible quality of mateship between the Anzacs towards each other and the bond that connects them to today's soldiers. Our most recent Victoria Cross winner, Corporal Benjamin Robert Smith, inspires us, youth of today, with his motivational speeches across Australian schools. Who will have influenced me? One, his name was... Sergeant Ian Styles is a Vietnam veteran. He influenced me quite a lot. He was in the Australian Special Air Services and he inspired me to join the SAS and that's pretty much what I plan to do when I get older. Um, my brother was a CEO uh, in Army Cadets, one of the highest ranks, and I wanted to be like him, so I joined Army Cadets. The compassion for helping and sacrificing ourselves for our mates is passing on to our current generation. We are helping each other in times of need, proved during and after the Queensland flood crisis, when youth, neighbours and soldiers united to recover the damage of lives and homes. Once again, today's youth were inspired by the legend of the Anzac. Following the New Zealand earthquake, a Facebook page was set up by university students who calling for volunteers to assist with the clean-up of Christchurch. During the battles on the Western Front, where 52 Victoria Crosses, the Commonwealth's highest military honour, were awarded, there are countless relations of Anzac soldiers who courageously ran back through machine gun fire and shells just to save a mate who'd fallen on open ground. These acts of courage and sheer kindness reflect the spirit of the Anzac, shown so clearly by the brave young soldiers who served long ago. It is this attitude which inspires our generation to uphold the Anzac spirit. It's amazing when uh, Anzac days you go to the RSL and you catch up with the diggers and uh, hear all their interesting stories. So I just got a whole lot of respect for them. Well, I guess I have a greater respect for them since my father's in the army and um, I think two ancestors on my mum's side from all the world wars. Today, our youth continues to be motivated by those who serve who maintain the spirit of mateship, laricanism, humour, pride, courage, determination and sacrifice. Through unimaginable chaos and mayhem, they have acted courageously and loyally for their country, giving hope and inspiration to others who despair. 
They were set apart by their ability to maintain a dry humour in the darkest of circumstances, joking with and about not only our side, but the enemy as well. These attributes are what we youths of today are so deeply respectful and proud of. We are motivated to follow in their footsteps, to be brave in the face of danger, to help our mates however and whenever we can, to act in whatever way po possible to proudly honour our country, to honour and remember our young soldiers who didn't come home those many years ago, to honour the legacy they have left us. It makes you feel better than being Australian. It's, it's a true Aussie spirit. They shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. The Anzac's qualities of mateship, larrikinism, humour, pride, courage, determination and sacrifice are what inspire today's youth and motivate us to uphold the spirit of the Anzac. Lest we forget. <laughs>